they're off. They race away over the mile then with Order of Australia, Pogo, Prince IG and Lopi Fernandez, the first quartet to get out of the starting stalls and have the early advantage. Straight in behind him, the Silver Jacket Palace Pier, he'd be about fourth or fifth in these early strides. Behind him, a dark jacket, a white cap of Sir Busker, the two greys, uh, the Lord Glitters, the darker jacket, top rank in white and red, just preceding him. Then comes Accidental Agent, an orange cap towards the back of the field. And uh, last of all is Bless Him, as they already move down to the final five furlongs of the Queen Anne. The yellow jacket of Prince IG and the uh, green colours of Pogo stride along in front by around about two lengths. Might be a narrow third call for Palace Pier, his main market rival, Order of Australia, the purple cap. They are together in third and fourth places. The light blue of Regal Reality is next. Sir Busker, Lupi, Fernandez and top rank behind those are approaching the three marker now. Uh, still bless him in yellow and the orange cap of Accidental Agent towards the back of the field. Pogo in the green jacket. Kieran Schumach and the IG, uh, Prince IG, Andrew Senny in the yellow with now the silver jacket of Palace Pier nearest to us coming through to launch his challenge. He's being chased along though. Top rank is there. Sir Busker putting in a big run nearest to us as well. They come to the furlong pole and now Palace Pier and Frankie Dottori have the advantage. Sir Busker and Lopi Fernandez giving chase in second and third places. It's a two length lead for Palace Pier. Races towards the line and Palace Pier is the winner of the Queen Anne. Lopi Fernandez in second. Sir Busker, Lord Glitters, Pogo Accidental Agent and top rank of the next one's home. They're off. A race away, fairly even break as they get away. The coffee maker is one of the first of the runners away. Gisborne in a prominent position. Also the gatekeeper, the organizers up there as well. Katura in yellow, vintage clarets nearest to us. Uh, the Acropolis, Ebro River and Angel Blair in prominent positions. Tolstoy out the back early on with Eldrick Jones. On the extreme right is Berkshire Shadow in the red colors. Uh, with this as well is Secret Strength towards the back of the field. But they're already heading down to halfway. Way. Coffee Maker, the blue, uh, the lighter blue on the left is the organizer, Gisborne with those, and then comes the gatekeeper in a light blue jacket, Angel Blur in the center, De Babi, about five from the right, a yellow cap on a light blue jacket. Ebro River and Tolstoy, the Acropolis all over on the extreme left, Vintage Clarets nearest the grandstand side running well, with Katura also getting into it, but they head down towards the Furlon Pole. This is wide open, Ebro River in a silver jacket coming through with the the Acropolis, uh, Vintage Clarets nearest to us, Katura's there, Berkshire Shadow in the red and white flying home as well, Masetto in the centre, but it's Berkshire Shadow and Ashim Murphy have won. Eldrick Jones might have got second position to Vintage Clarets, Masetto behind those, then Ebro River and Debab. They're off. They race away for the King's Stand Stakes. Five furlongs is the trip. Fast out uh, from the stores is Winter Power. And also up there in the early strides is Ornate. Kea Moro's up there with the cheek pieces as well. Yellow sleeves of Maven in a prominent position. Batar should be about fifth early on. Liberty Beach and Glamorous Anna showing good pace. Acclam Express is behind these. They're going very fast. Some of these sprinters at the back are already outpaced. Kea Moro leading. Batar the blue and white on the cap. On the left is Glamorous Anna. Towards the extreme right then is Winter Power. A blue and white jacket. Big run from her. Maven is behind these. Then Kings Lynn from Liberty Beach and behind those is Harris Barr as nearest to us Winter Power Batars coming to join issue this pair together Liberty Beach Acclam Express behind those the pink jacket of Oxted is running on but it's Batars in front to the pink colours of Oxted down the centre Oxted now coming through with Kieran Fallon to take it up and beats Arecibo to second extravagant kid and Batars and keep busy uh, Kings Lynn and Liberty Beach behind those they're off they race away then a mile on the round course as they get into their stride. Namus and Ontario, Poetic Flair and Maximal, some of the best away. Lucky Vega behind those at this early stage. Thunder Moon in red and yellow at the back of the field. Wembley and the Grey Highland Avenue also towards the rear as Ontario leads. A red jacket, Namus in second. About a length and a half away in white. Poetic Flair running in third. A white cap, green jacket, Lucky Vega with Battleground. is rather keen in blue and orange. 
orange. Mustardaf right next to him in blue and white colours. And then Chindu is behind uh, Wembley. La Barossa together with this at this stage. Highland Avenue is the back marker. La Barossa in company with him and Maximal green and pink colours is halfway down the field. But Ontario has skipped clear as they go past the four furlong marker. That was halfway. He leads by five lengths. Namus in second place. Poetic Flair behind him running in third. And then Mostadaf on the running rail narrowly in fourth place over the green and white colours of Lucky Vega. Battleground between those. Maximal Wembley, Chindit, Bullis behind those and then Thunder Moon as they level up for home. On the right is the Grey Highland Avenue. La Barossa behind that. Now they get past the early pace set and Namus leading to Poetic Flair and the white and purple is posed to the question. Mustadaf short of room against the running rail. Maximal coming down the centre with a challenge. Lucky Vega still there as well. But it is Poetic Flair who has shot clear inside the final furlong here with Kevin Manning. Leading by three lengths to Lucky Vega. Battleground Maximal behind those. He's been busy. He's very talented. He's very tough. Poetic Flair has won in great style. Lucky Vega just second to Battleground Maximal. Chinned it behind those. And Set to go, and they're off in the Ascot Stakes of 2021. And a good start made by Rashoon over towards the left. The grey colours coming across. Frankie trying to restrain golden rules. Rochester House is also getting handy, along with last year's winner, Cur de Leon. The red cap of Mancini to the outside on the right. That is Lucky Deal. Franny Norton with Postilio just in behind that one. Golden Rules is very keen, just chasing the leaders. The black and white half jacket. Untold Story, the blue colours, white face, followed by Rhea Poor. And then racing in about eighth position, the red colours, Holly Doyle on Lost Withiel. That one is being followed by Elysian Flame and Just Hubert sitting in midfield at this stage, a yellow cap followed by Island Brave. And then towards the back of the field, Rachel Blackmore on the favourite. Cape Gentleman has only got four or five behind at the moment. Is back there with Royal Illusion. Dalton Highway, the best turned out winner. Lethal Steps and Solo Saxophone is the back marker in the Ascot Stakes. They've completed their first four furlongs. And as they do so, it is Rochester House and Sylvester de Souza leading the way to Mancini and Richard Kingscott in second spot. Stable companion Rashoon is in third position. And they're being followed by Golden Rules with Lucky Deal to the outside. Golden Rules hasn't really settled. Untold Story and Oshin Murphy is over on the inner with Thor Hammer Hansen and Cur de Leon next for trainer Alan King. Postilio is to the outside, racing in about eighth position. Los Withiel is on the inner. And they're followed by Rhea Poor and Adam Kirby. Elysian Flame is next as they come to the turn at the end of the home straight. And then Just Hubert ahead of MC Muldoon. That's uh, running in about 11th position at this stage, 11th or 12th ahead of Ireland Brave, Cape Gentleman. Uh, they've completed a mile now. And then Royal Illusion and the back three, Dalton Highway, Jamie Spencer and Lethal Steps and Solo Saxophone is last of all about 15 lengths behind the leader as they run away from us, and it is Rochester House that has the advantage. Still to Mancini in second position with Rashoon in third. Not much change up front. Still being followed by Lucky Deal. The Mark Johnston runners one and four at this stage, then Untold Story. Untold Story and uh, Golden Rules. Cur de Leon in the next position still with uh, Los Withiel and Postilio is running to the outside of that one. In behind uh, Postilio, still Rayapur, Elysian Flame wearing cheek pieces on the inside. Ben Curtis, Mick and David Easterby, Ryan Moore and MC Muldoon following. One of three in the race for Willie Mullins. Royal Illusion is back there with Just Hubert, Island Brave, Kate Gentleman still towards the back with Lethal Steps, Dalton Highway and Solo Saxophone last of all as they now have a mile to run in the Ascot Stakes. And it is Rochester House still with the advantage by about a length to Mancini in second spot. Reshun is in third. No major moves from anything in behind just yet. Lucky Deal continuing to sit in fourth place as they run towards their final six furlongs and on their way back to us now. In midfield still is Los Withiel. Los Withiel is running in company with Cur de Leon and Postilio Elysian Flame. MC Muldoon yet to make a move, neither just Hubert and Island Brave still towards the back with Royal Illusion as the lead is still being held by Rochester House. Rochester House takes them inside their final five with Mancini in second. Rashoon, lucky deal. They are still one, two, three and four. Golden Rules is next with Untold Story. Cur de Leon, Los Withiel sticking to the inside, followed by 
Elysian Flame, Postilio to the outer, then Rhea, Poor Just Hubert, Island Brave, Royal Illusion, MC Muldoon, Cape Gentleman, Dalton Highway, Lethal Steps, Solo Saxophone is struggling in last as they run towards the three, turning for home in the Ascot Stakes. It's still Rochester House that has the lead to Mancini. Where are the challengers coming from? Lucky Deal and Rashoon in behind, then Untold Story, Postilio trying to come from the back of the field. Cape Gentleman is uh, trying to make some ground, but has got an awful lot to do from where he is inside the two. And now Golden Rules is challenging under Frankie Dottori. Reshoon, Rochester House weakens. Mancini down the outside. Kerr de Leon, Elysian Flame on the inside. It's up for grabs. They run inside the furlong. And it is Reshoon who's battling away here. MC Muldoon is now flying down the outside under Ryan Moore. Reshoon chased all the way by MC Muldoon as they run close to the finish. Reshoon and MC Muldoon. Here comes the line. Reshoon to MC Muldoon in the Ascot Stakes. Cardano is just in front of Hyanna. Hyanna, an orange cap ahead of Gold Maze. Dubious Affair is back in the field at this stage and running just in front of Sextant. And Throne Hall is towards the rear, and the back marker is Sleeping Lion under Kieran Schumark. As it is Danny Tuthope and Galata Bridge leading to Amtiaz and Holly Doyle in second spot. The dark green, Soldier, the favourite, is sitting in third position with a brilliant light to the outside. Hockfeld is towards the back as well at this stage as the field continue their journey towards Swinley Bottom. Uh, Soldier is being tracked by Arthurian Fable and has brilliant light for company on the outside. Oshin Murphy, then the Max We Can, just running in a share of fifth position at this point with Cardano. Hyanna is out wide on the inside Global Storm and William Buick looking for a double ahead of Gold Maze and then Dubious Affair and Jamie Spencer. They've completed more than six furlongs now and are taking the turn at Swinley Bottom. Still towards the back is Throne Hall. Throne Hall and Sextant in rear as Sleeping Lion is still the back mark as Galata Bridge continues to free wheel and lead down towards their final six furlongs in the Copper Horse Stakes. Amtiaz is sitting fairly close to the leader, and then there's a gap of three lengths to Soldier. Soldier and Ryan Moore on the inside of Brilliant Light, and they're still tracked by last year's fourth, the Max We Can, then Arthurian Fable. Their pace has picked up here as they run inside the five. Still running in midfield at this point is in the Team Valley colours, Gold Maze and David Egan, just running on the outside of Global Storm. Galata Bridge and Amtiaz continue to be the front two. Ryan Moore is very much at Soldier on the inside of Brilliant Light. Favourite is being pushed along quite firmly. Then the Max We Can, Arthurian Fable. Cardano trying to come out wide as they turn into the home straight, running inside the three in the Copper Horse Stakes. Galata Bridge attacked by Amtiaz. Soldier is still being pushed along and is trying to, to get involved down the outside ahead of Arthurian Fable off the inside and some late progress from Global Storm, Amtiaz and Galata Bridge still the front two here as they've got a furlong and a half left to go. Soldier is in third position, then Arthurian Fable and a Global Storm. Amtiaz has just got to the front inside the last furlong. It's Amtiaz and Holly Doll. Dubious Affair is running on very powerfully from the back in the blue and red. They're getting closer to Amtiaz. Dubious Affair, Arthurian Fable, Global Storm, Amtiaz and Dubious Affair, Amtiaz and Holly Doyle.